Namaskar. I came across an incident where a parent to his child was saying, At home, oh, how come you are not studying? I have spent 3 lakh rupees for you for your 11th and 12th standard. I have spent 3 lakh rupees for you for your 11th and 12th standard for your coaching classes. How come you are not studying? How come you are not studying? He exclaimed. Further, after some time, when the child said that it is becoming very tough for me, it is becoming very difficult for me, I am trying my best, level best, but I am not able to cope up. And this is the situation of many of my friends. Then the father says, okay, don't worry. I can spend up to one CR for you to get a medical seat in a private medical college. And when I came across this incidents, when I heard this incidents, I was very shocked. I was very uh, moved in the negative sense. That how come we can spend such a lot of money over things which we really don't deserve and only because we want them. Tomorrow someone can want anything in this world. He can dream of going and sitting in the royal palace of the Queen of England. So is it that for the same he would uh, do some big robbery and then get money and then go and complete his so-called dream? Are we going in the ethical direction where we are trying to purchase education? Knowledge is beyond some worth in terms of money. Knowledge is beyond the worth in terms of money. And if this is the case, then how are we tagging it in and blocking it in or packaging it in? packages of tuition fees. We belong to the nation where there is Guru Shishya Parampara. We belong to the nation where the knowledge from the teacher to the student flows in a flow over years with utter faith in the same. We belong to the nation where when the teacher scolds or hits the students or punishes the student. The parent supports and says with a lot of faith and belief in the teacher that whatever you are doing is correct. We belong to the nation where the shloka goes Guru Brahma, Guru Vishnu, Guru Devo Maheshwara, Guru Sakshat Parabrahma Tasmai Sri Guru Enama. When we say Guru Sakshat Parabrahma, it means the the eternal knowledge of this creation, which is the epitome of all knowledge that we know and we don't. If the Guru is the one who knows all this, experiences all this and gives away the same to his students. If we belong to this nation, my dear friends, brothers and sisters, the question arises that is it worth Packaging education in these packages of coaching classes or tuition only for the sake of going and clearing the competitive exams, which no more have been, which no more have been nowadays a practice of knowledge or your intellect, but have become a, a perfect example of how to manipulate the study method, follow it in a particular way and vomit there in the examination. My dear friends, it, it's high time now where the tagline goes ki abhi nahi to kabhi. And it's a grave situation when we don't turn up today and rise for our own selves, for our own future, we may end up in a misery in the next decade coming. In the same decade rather, I would say. Today, right 
from the birth of the child where most of the mothers voluntarily prefer cesarean section type of birth of their child because they don't know the importance of a normal delivery that happens to the normal route naturally they don't know the significance they can't bear the pains they forget the concept that without pains there are no gains and if we study deep into modern sciences and even ayurveda we will get to know that what is the significance of a normal vaginal delivery of a baby how it strengthens the child we are aware of a very common example that when a bird from an egg it hatches and it comes out when the egg hatches and with its wings it opens up and breaks the shell of the egg then it comes out if someone helps then the feathers the wings of the bird do not develop the strength to fly and my dear friends in the same way if the bird doesn't develop as the bird doesn't develop the strength to fly in the same way your child who is getting birth by cesarean section by scissor jisko hum bolte he will not develop that strength his bones of the skulls will not override for for a few moments to get adjusted and acquainted to follow that narrow path of the natural birth his body will not rotate and re restitute in the fashion it should he will not get those germs from that area genitalia of the mother to develop that immune system because it doesn't pass from that pathway my dear friends we develop our immunity right from the time we are born when there is exposure of germs then only the immunity is going to develop there are n number of things that we lack when a birth happens by cesarean section no doubt no doubt in extreme conditions of medical emergencies where the cesarean section is indicated it's unavoidable to be gone for but today in many private sections in many private institutions they pay a lot of amount of money and they get delivered in that way my main motive was when they go for a cesarean section or a normal delivery in a private hospital or so they will label beta maine tere upar 1 lakh rupaye kharch kiya tha tere ko janm dene ke liye i spent 1 lakh rupees for you to be in this world and get delivered my dear friends right from the moment we are born this tagging of money gets started the parents send the child in a very high fi school they think that paying money is evident of getting best of the services in this world but they fail to realize that not everything can be got from money it is the value time that you have to give to your children it is the value education that you have to give to your children as parents are the first teacher the mother is the teacher even since when even since before the child is born for 9 months in her womb my dear friends it's time high to think over this and when the child joins the school again the same ki i am paying so much amount of money for every year why don't you study to be very frank very precise and very straight forward i would like to bring to the notice of our dear listeners and audience for value education which we call as sanskar var for the teaching of ethics and moralities it doesn't require even a single penny of expense but it requires your quality time and your quality efforts the father says his child when the phone rings up from his office beta bol do papa ghar pe nahi hai and what he says uncle papa bol rahe hai ki papa ghar pe nahi hai this is the scenario today 
my dear friends this is the scenario today practice what you preach charity begins at home has to start today we are parents maybe some of the great parents being the product of this british education system which enslaved us which enslaved us in the system of boss and employee has taken up all our powers of creating wonders in this world to 300 years ago before the british time today we had a cobbler we even the cobbler at that time was self sufficient and he was able to earn his own living because he had some skill with the with which he earned i realize that today the competition has risen to its extreme i realize that today the competitiveness has itself become a trend but my dear friends a simple question to each and every one of us is why the hell we are into the competition they say to survive in the world and to be very simple i would like to say that survival in the world requires two times a meal uh, meals two times a day two pairs of clothing and a shed to live in basic education and health today we are creating problems today we are creating problems doing research on the same finding solutions and then purchasing and selling the same this is fooling our own friends fooling our own colleagues fooling our own members of the family of this society my dear friends today everything and everyone wants in terms of money and worth and financial but the question is do we really have financial literacy no schools teach us financial literacy today they are earning a lot but they are spend thrifting it like fools only because they are not aware of the purpose of their lives only because the generation today lacks the moral ethics and value education my dear friends i am not blaming anyone it's a crude reality that we have to realize and i think most of us realize but after the time has gone this has come up because today our education practices educational systems do not imbibe these qualities today sending the child to the school makes the parent satisfy that i have done my job are have you asked your child ki beta kya homework diya hai what is the score in your exam they not bother they are all into the mobile phones the mini idiot box with getting no 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 quality output from the same it's time to prioritize things it's time to know them before the time passes it's time to realize and live them before the time passes and my dear friends if we don't if we don't we will be evident of a very miserable end of ourselves and the society someone said that outside a south african university in south africa there was a stone carved which had written that to destroy a nation you do not require atom bombs nuclear bombs and weapons it was engraved that you allow the students to copy you do not teach them properly you do not boost and motivate them into value based education system and then you will get that nation where patients will die in the hands of doctors you will get those engineers the construction by whom will collapse the bridges you will get those financial people those chartered accountants will collapse the economy of the nation and you will get those teachers who will not able who will not be able to imbibe ethics and moralities and will end up creating a miserable society it's the need of the hour and it's our own need one should realize ladies and gentlemen we should realize that 
we are going to give our life in the hands of such doctors who are the product of such kind of system who do not have humanity in them. We are going to hand over our children in the hands of those teachers who are just money based. Today everyone is in the run of the money. But realize money can get you a golden bed but it cannot get you good sleep. Today, people sleeping in the bungalows have to take sleeping pills to get a sound sleep. They are mentally disturbed because they are not spiritually inclined. Because they didn't have this education system of the Guru Shishya Parampara that our country had. My dear friends, to make you remind that we are, were called as the Vishwa Guru. Vishwa Guru means the Guru of the world, the Vishwa. And this was as a result of the teachings and preachings of the Vedas, Upanishads, Shastras and Tattvagnya. Forget about the, the entire system which may not be possible for each and every one. But everyone can have the tinge of those teachings and preachings in their system and method of learning. It doesn't require money, my dear friends. It requires a mindset which will develop only when such discuss when such issues will be discussed and events and conferences of this kind shall help, shall be held. And so we as a Karma Yogi Sanstha, understanding this idea and grave situation, it's time we realize this, and for the same. We are organizing a Shikshak Parishad. Because this message of life, this message of how to live life, and this message of moral education shall be percolated in the society by the means and mode of our honorable teachers. And so it is time for their inclination, for their reposition, for their renaissance to bring over a revolution in the education system of India. And I think for the same reason the government of India thought of bringing up a new educational policy that is NEP 2020. But we don't find even a 0.1% exe execution of the same. The procrastination after procrastination, tariq pe tariq and there's nothing on ground. My dear friends, it's time that we realize the importance of this issue. Education has to be free for everyone, but it has to be quality education. Someone can teach, after giving you a knife, there can be both kinds of teachings. One of killing someone, second of becoming a surgeon and saving someone. I remember the example of Dr. Ben Carson, who is a neurosurgeon and uh, who served as some secretary in the US uh, government. When he was very small, he used to take knife and cut and injure anyone. If this would have happened in our normal scenario, what would the parent do? Hit the child, thrash the child, scold the child, usko baan ke rakh denge. What his mother did, his mother called him, make him sit. She make him sat, she make him sit, she, she made him sit, and after making him sit, she told her, she told him very politely. She said, See, child, today with this knife you are injuring people, but if you use it meticulously, you will be able to save lives. This teaching left an indelible, indelible mark in the mind of Mr. Dr. Ben Carson and he became a renowned neurosurgeon in the world. My dear friends, it is how we tackle the situation. It is how and in what way we are nourishing, nurturing, bringing up our children. It is how we are giving the environment, we are providing environment to our child. What kind of preachings and teachings are we giving to our child? 
टुडे द वर्ल्ड प्रेज इज महाराणा प्रताप एंड शिवाजी महाराज बट इफ यू सी दैकग्राउंड देर मदर्स Jayavanta Bai and Jija Mata respectively have given them the teachings and preachings of the life of Bhagwan Shri Ram, Bhagwan Shri Krishna, and the incidences and stories which have boosted in them discipline, their dedication, devotion, determination towards their nation and the people. My dear friends, today the need of the hour is such parents. is such children and of course none other than our teachers after the child joins the school it is the teacher who does it for the child and so this shikshak parishad is a calling for all of you it's time to rise for self it's time to rise for our future and i know and i'm sure that you all will join hands in this by the best possible way in the best possible way and the best possible mean you can thank you thank you so much